What's going on, guys? This is Archie. Welcome back to the vlog. I'm uh, gonna change the oil on this car here. <laughs> Exciting. Yeah. <laughs> gotta change the oil on this car. I'm gonna change the oil on this car right here. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Archie Motors. I'm Archie and I got a, a camera here. I'm going to change the oil on and I'm going to go through the steps of changing it and anybody can do it and you can do it there and, and it don't have to be a Camry or a Toyota. You can change your car just the same on anything. Just figure out your oil capacity and the oil filter and get you an oil pan. No, don't show that. It's hideous. Okay. If anybody can do this. You guys can do it too. All you need to do is put a little gas in your car. That's the secret ingredient, gas. So you can drive to the Jiffy Lube and have them do it. Uh, let's check out the oil I got. I feel like I'm shaking the camera a lot. No. Uh, Am I? No, I think you're, good. <laughs> you're still good. All right, here's the oil. I got uh, 0W20, that's what it calls for. The W is uh, for Wolverine. So on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 Wolverine is not very good. And then uh, this 20 is, that's like, um, you got your blades out, ready to, <laughs> ready to cut somebody up on 20. So, uh, yeah, anyway, it's good oil. And then uh, here we got the filter. It's a paper filter. It comes with O-rings. It's a kit. And um, that's what this call car, that's what this calls for, 99.72. Uh, they have a list over there in the automotive section. You can look through and, and find the one that's right for your car. But you're going to save some money by doing it this way. And you get a little bit of pride and learn about your car. So it's a good thing and it's super easy to do. Anybody can do it. All right, so let's... I got the car lifted. I started the car for a little <laughs> bit. Drove it in here. I got it jacked up so I can get underneath it. And uh, let get... Just let it run a little bit, get the oil warmed up. <laughs> <You're too loud. laughs> Just, what's that? Squish the face. <laughs> just let your, yeah, just let the car warm up a little bit. Let the oil warm up and um, you'll be ready to change it. That way you get all the, the old oil out. What's that? Your hand gestures. <clears throat> I'm going to turn in the Wolverine. The number one trick though is what I do is so you don't forget the oil cap. Take your oil cap off. Put it right here. Right by the hood latch. So if you shut the hood, you know, oh crap, I forgot to put the oil cap on. You'll never, you do it one time and you'll never forget it again. Or right, for this one, you just need a simple O-ring filter to get the, the metal canister off with the paper filter. And then a 14 millimeter for the all Toyota State 14. So invest in good Jeepers Creepers. Okay. <laughs> you want to get on the other side here? Oh, you yeah. want to get on the other side? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, I almost fell. This belly ain't gonna get under there by itself. Oh, there it goes. Wait, no. Oh, not that, yeah. No. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Perfect. All right, so here's the drain plug right here. That's a 14 millimeter. And here's the oil filter. I'll do the. I'll do the drain plug first. And now they got the oil filter. <laughs> I thought you dropped it. Hmm? I thought you dropped it in there. Can you see it? Yeah. Here's the drain plug right here. It has a gasket, which is still on the tank. I gotta take that off and I have a new one for it. You can buy a a whole package of them that'll last you forever. My sniffle in 
you could reuse the old gasket, but I mean, just get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> kind of looks like a drain to a sink. That's it. If you are putting a new gasket on, make sure you remove the old one. It will leak like no other. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Hello, love. <laughs> See, it's coming to a slow dribble, and then when it starts to barely dribble out of there, I don't know a better word than dribble. When it starts to slowly dribble from a long dribble, you can put the plug back in. Tighten it to 26 foot pounds. In the meantime, just relax when you're Jeepers Creepers. Oh, yeah. Did you know that seahorses can get pregnant if they're a male or female? I didn't know that. <laughs> they say all the male ones get pregnant, but how can a male seahorse get pregnant? Doesn't make any sense in this jacket in my face like a mask. <laughs> I feel like a bane. Did he? Darkness is your ally. Did you know that um, <laughs> males are less likely to get pregnant than females are? <laughs> less likely? <laughs> yeah. It's the same for humans, too. <laughs> Very less likely. Yeah. Almost impossible. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna put it back in. Wipe off the excess. Mm. Twenty six. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, in with the kit. Two O rings. One drain plug. You screw this up in there, and it allows the oil to come through without taking this out. If you take the whole case out, it comes all over the place and you'll get sprayed more than likely. You put this up there and drain most of the oil out. Let's get it. <laughs> Is that all you have to do? That's it. Well, once I take this out, I gotta replace the paper filter. And then that's it. Huh. It is really easy. Yeah. You already put the new oil in there? No, not yet. Oh. Oh, that's the filter. What's the filter's for, right? Mm-hmm. Oh, see? Yeah. Well, that's what happens when you... Okay. Here's the old one. You always want to check, make sure you don't have any metal particles. That would be very, very bad. Looks like we're good to go. Here's the new one. Ooh. Fancy. And... Try to clean this off best you can. This doesn't get so oily when you see right there. That little plastic thing goes in there and pushes on that and lets the oil escape. Mm. I'll get this out. Trash. This out. Trash. Now I got my new ones. Put a little oil on them. I'll do this one first. Take some of that old oil. Rub it on the o ring. When you put it on, try not to roll it. Just try to move it down. There we go. Get it seated. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Get it seated right in that seat. Put some more oil on there. 
Okay. Put some more oil there. I want to make sure it's in the center. And we will put the cap on. We want to tighten it so it's snug, but not so that it breaks the O-ring. Smells like oil. Oh, that's good. I'll take a bath now. Ew. I'll take a good bath in that 10W30. Ew. Clean it off with your rag. And whoop. O-ring still good. And then we get a little tighten till tighten till it's snug. My ranch. It's gonna spin about a whole turn and then you'll feel it seat on the bottom and then it'll get real tough and then you want to just make it snug right there. So right now I'm just barely moving the ratchet. There it goes there. You don't need to Perfect. You don't need to tighten it any more than that. And then I'll tighten the little plug and just seat it snugly. Perfect. That's it. Stretch out your foot because you got a Charlie horse. <laughs> Ooh. She was screaming. <laughs> So this one takes anywhere from 4.5 to 4.7 quarts of oil is the capacity. So I get a five gallon and I put just a little bit less than the whole five quart. Five gallon. I get a five quart <laughs> and I put a little bit less than the five quarts. I don't know what it costs to get your oil change at the store. It's probably between 40 and 50 dollars, but the oil and the filter is about 20 bucks. It's okay, but you gotta go like super slow. There's always a baffle right here on top of the valve cover too. Don't try not to bend that or break that. You end up having to replace that too. 4.7 gallons of it. I mean quarts. <laughs> that stinks. That smells bad. Yeah. Oh, small pet poops. <laughs> so it has to be perfect. <laughs> you, you can go more or less, but you don't want to go more or less. Oh, okay. <laughs> Makes so much sense. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Makes perfect sense. <laughs> Do not forget your cap. Right. Zero twenty. Nice. You got it. You got it. Got girl, you got it. Got it girl. Whoa! Let it run this and then stop it. <laughs> when you start the engine, you don't want to hit the gas. That's important. Okay. There's no key. See, this one's O for oil. <laughs> they have another one for the transmission that has a T for transmission, but this one doesn't have the, the dipstick. Look at that, right on. You see it? Yeah. Can you see that? Yeah. There you go. Look at that. It's right on the level. See? Cool. Good to go. Now we'll reset the light. 
We'll turn it on without starting the car. We gotta reset the light. Go away. Check charge system. We will reset the maintenance light. Reset complete. Now the next time we change it, we'll do 5,000 miles and it'll let us know when 5,000 miles is up. But it's about 75,000 miles, so around 80 we'll change it again. It's all good, guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you watching. and Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and uh, thanks to my, my videographer here. <laughs> Peace. Oh, I'm recording. Are you recording for real? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you got it. You. Okay, I'm recording. Okay, can you want to <laughs> back up a little? It's a close up. <laughs> yeah, well, they don't need to be that close because he.